Folks, our marriage is in jeopardy. It's been brewing for a few weeks now, but this could be the end. It's looking like the dishwasher is broken. Here it is, folks. It's a General Electric GLC4100. It's like a roll around dishwasher. So. Oh. Not as fancy as the built in style. You gotta wheel it up to your sink and clip it on and all that jazz. Anyway. The complaint is that there's still water in the bottom after the thing runs its complete cycle. And we took it apart one time and I checked things over. I know that the pump is working that pumps the water out of the bottom. I know that the main pump motor, whatever it is, that does all the... spins the... God, I don't know anything about dishwashers. Spins the thing and pumps the water. That works. And... There's a circuit board with a bunch of relays. I tested the relays. They all seem to, to work. So, yeah, I don't know. We're going to try to fix it and make a crappy video about it. No promises. I just had to uh, turn the camera off for a five-minute argument about goldfish crackers. So, there's going to be some challenges. Okay. I, I normally when people it. say they have it. Let me use more than just my foot. All right, again, I know very little about dishwashers. This is the main pump motor here, I guess, that runs the washer arm. And then this little guy right here is what pumps out the water. Then there's a heating element. The connections are underneath of these bricks. The bricks are just there to keep the thing from walking away. And then right there is a solenoid that turns on and off the water coming in from the faucet. And I think that's where we're gonna start. I got a feeling that that's the problem. So what you want to do is grab your super Chinese purple accented pliers. Be sure to make that nice grating sound as you loosen it up. What are you hoping to do with your fingers there? Be helpful. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but I couldn't do it with my fingers. See, you need on those pliers. Best tool ever. Uh, if the if the dishwasher being broken didn't kill our marriage, us trying to fix it together will finish it off. Mm -hmm. Too late. Alright, not to get a little wrench and take that off. On second thought, it's 18 degrees outside, so maybe we can do it with these pliers. No way I'm letting you edit this video. Why? Because you won't cut any of this stupidity out. There. Well, no one wants to watch five minutes of you turning a screw. You never know. All right, that is not the problem. It's holding pressure just fine. Next, filter. I think we need 
So when we were first trying to diagnose this, everyone said... I'm going to build a castle. Okay, good luck. Um, that it had to do with the filter, but the only thing I could get to was yeah. this. And I found a piece of glass in it, but I couldn't find anything else because I couldn't see it and I couldn't get to it. So I think we need to take these off and look to see what's going on here. Okay. Uh, first of all, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Second, what did we learn? Uh, so if we, we found something. So the first time we were trying to diagnose the problem, all the YouTube videos and all the websites said, there's probably something stuck in your filter. And I did find a piece of glass in this gray thing from the other side. And I, but that clearly wasn't the cause. But after Wes took this off and this off, yes. this little piece of plastic popped out. And I immediately knew what it was because I was wondering where it went because it's part of the base of this cheap $1 cutting board. Mm. I think that's the cause of our problems. So would you say that there's your problem lady? <sighs> yeah, there's your problem lady. There's so, our problem. It has all these check valves in this, in this little pump, the evacuation pump, oh, and if you get anything in there. Right, and especially like look at the size, like how quickly that would have like blocked it. And that's why some of the water drained, but not all of it. Yeah, the check valves weren't working. It was coming back. All right, let's put it back together and try it. Again. We've got it a big mess here to put. I guess together. the moral of the story is don't put cheap $1 cutting boards in your dishwasher. All right, let's put this thing back together. And we'll do one of these. And hopefully it's fixed. Spend that. Pretty sure I did. That's quality. Just kind of hold that. This is going to be the worst lighting of any video I've ever made, ever. why movie studios don't have windows. Nice. I found a little problem. This is the main electrical cord. It comes from the wall outlet. And it's got a Molex connector or some kind of connector here. She's gotten a little toasty. Actually melted the plastic off of two of the pins. And we've had problems with this before, where this, the whole thing died. I couldn't figure out what was wrong. It was just this connector was disconnected. So we're just going to snip it off, eliminate that connection, and splice it in permanently. That looks better. I pulled some more slack out on that cord. It's the only kind of catch to this repair is that we're not going to be able to remove this clamshell. Why is that so tight? That's okay. Better than burning our house down. Here, why don't you show everyone how you can lift your eyebrows? <laughs> Do you need a napkin? Hey, lady, what are we doing? Well, are we test we're running it? We're, so, we're brush running our teeth. No, we're test running the dishwasher. 
Okay. No, um, we're not. We're actually waiting for it to finish whatever cycle it was in the middle of when it wow. shut down last time. Because we can't do anything until that is finished. Okay. Well, in the meantime. Let's eat some tacos. Let's eat some tacos. It's doing something. Hopefully it's the right thing. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, there's... Do you think there's always some water in that thing? I have no idea. How much water is in there? Uh, well, before, all of this was filled with water. Including this trap, but I would say... It's not... I mean, it's not full. So... And it goes pretty deep, so... Success? Oh no, I'm gonna run out on the rinse cycle and see what happens. Okay, good. Yeah, there's still a little bit of water in there, but everything else is done, so I'd say it's, say it's fixed. Until it's not. Okay, that's the kind of confident ending we like to give to our videos. <laughs> Yay. I thought it was fixed one time before and then it wasn't, so... Yeah, she found a piece of glass in the filter before and we mm -hmm. thought it was fixed and then it didn't stay fixed. It didn't. Well, it didn't empty. I thought it emptied, but the water was just so clear, it fooled me. Hmm. So. Okay. So dishwasher fixed, mm -hmm. marriage saved. Yeah, it was it was a touch and go today though. Right. Touch and go. Guess that's it. We've run it through three, maybe four cycles now, and it seems to be working fine. So I guess we'll quit while we're ahead. That little bitty piece of plastic was causing a lot of problems. The only issue so far is when I tip it up on its face, I set it down on the bottom side of the wooden top and one of the screws was sticking out, so it scratched up all the paint. So unfortunately, we're going to have to fix the paint unless Folks, our marriage is in jeopardy. It's been brewing for a few weeks now, but I think this could be the end. It's very dramatic. You're so dramatic. You gotta play along. Come on. You could have warned me what you're gonna say. All right, can you try it again with a straight face? No. Well, we've got the, so we've got the outtakes for the end. This is this is what's gonna take our marriage. Oh, this video. <laughs> Folks, our marriage is in jeopardy. <laughs> she can't do it. How come I can do it and you can't do it? Because you're the one that's been thinking about it. <laughs> and I'm the one that just heard it and I'm like, oh, so true. People are going to believe you. <laughs> she cannot do it. She can't. Worst actress ever. I am a better actri actor, actor? actor on camera than her. Only three takes, remember. Three takes, that's it. Mm -hmm. Then we're done, we're moving on. How a, ten, what, tenth of a cent piece of plastic can nearly destroy your marriage. Okay. I'm not good at YouTube. You're not good at YouTube. <laughs>